guys. Yeah. I think this is one of the one of the coolest thing I keep on remembering. The best the best quote I see from Steve Jobs. So hopefully you can think of that one day. So yeah. How many of you use Thrift? Try using Thrift. Cool. Awesome. So yeah. Who am I? I'm just a DevOps guy and then a sysadmin starting. And then I'm a so-called cloud engineer. I do programming and stuff, yeah. So topic, thrift. So problem, uh, we, are, uh, we are someone who, who are into R&D phase where we thought of making DevOps into different areas. Like uh, you have something that, you know, uh, every, every, every stack stays on one programming language and every, uh, there are so many different programming languages around. So how does a DevOps guy keeps a, keeps, a, keeps a hold on everything to get it combined together and get a stack, okay? So, so we thought of like, you know, one we, once we started with Flask, we thought of making some automation, we thought of making some sort of like, okay, so get, get, get the queries of API with Amazon, create a template, and then push it on to that. But, but somewhere we feel like we want to integrate all the things together. So, so then what we thought of like, okay, not the Flask, let's go with a lightweighter thing. So we thought of going up with Node.js. So when we thought of going up with Node.js, Node.js have a set of SDKs when compared with Python, there are more, right? So, but some of the Python SDKs, I mean, Python libraries, handle some of the major things like cloud formation, troposphere, to so the template formation and all, uh, in, in, in Node.js, there's nothing is there like that. So what we thought like, we send the params through the one programming language to the other programming language so that we get a template created, save it in the database, get the template back, push it on from the SDK API through Node.js and spin up your instance. This was one of the logic we have initiated in it. So, so then we thought like, yeah, so we do an RPC call, hey, ping, and the, and the other language say Pong. So this is what happens there. So then we used Apache Thrift for that. So, so Thrift is, Thrift is an interface, you know, interface definition one, language, which we use generally. One minute. Okay. So it, it is, yeah, it is compatible with these programming languages developed by Facebook. And then next with, uh, it, I mean, like Apache took over it. So this was the architecture, like client have one particular code, server has one particular code, it generates a code, and then that particular code on top of your pro two programming languages, you call the definitions and then you run it. So let's take, this is the sample template which I written in, in uh, Apache Thrift, please. So, so then we have this, this is the function, and uh, that is the variables, and then these are the exceptions you can write, and these are the functions again. So you generate the code like this. So Thrift of that particular, you generate a code for PHP and then the Python. And then you write the Python code calling the protocols. And then you call the definitions there, right? And then you call the PHP client. Yay, hey, uh, I'm including your particular libraries. So this is a socket which the Python server runs. And these are the functions. So you take it and then you roll it and then you send the parameters back to the Python, I mean, back to the PHP client. So I'm just sending the params to the Python and then getting back with PHP. That's it. Thanks. Thank you.